What's up everybody, this is Easy, Easy Street Gaming, and I'm talking quietly because it's late night. You see the red arrow? If you click on the red arrow, that's your Facebook picture or your your little gaming icon. After that, you click on the, your talent button. We are talking about the talent pages in the talent page setup for war. This is part two. I think this is an uh, important part of the game, so I'm going to try to walk you through this as best I can, although this is not my strong point. My strong points in the partners if there is a strong point for me So my disclaimer there are several different ways to build your talent pages I'm going to show you the way that I've been taught to build the war side of the talent page and This is a, maybe a little extreme and in many cases you may want to go with a less aggressive uh, way to do this, but We're going all in on these uh, on this description here <laughs> If you're setting up your talent page for the first time don't just watch this with the sound off because I'm going to explain with the voice a little bit of, as far as uh, how the beginner should do it first of all avoid thinning out th your talent points you're going to use zero on the growth side when you build your, your war talent page your research can wait your construction can wait um, your production it can continue without the talent points boost you're going to have plenty of boost with other parts of your base we're going to add all the talent points to the war side of the talent tree so if you have 200 we're going to add all 200 to the war side um, and avoid making the rookie mistakes of filling up the first boxes with all of the talent points and then running out by the time you get to the end but before we even start to add any of the talent points to the talent pages to the tree we have to consider a few things first so we have like a little checklist that I'm going to make here you can do this in your head or you can write it down if you're writing it down you're really really dedicated <laughs> first we have to win with our partners our partners have to win the partner battle in order to get the morale boost that we need so you're gonna have to choose a team to lead the attack then check out your dragon kin I don't know how far along you've got yours but do they give troop bonuses yet I think you have to get to the fourth level um, upgrades before they start boosting your troops morale and Check your runes. What what runes do you have that match the particular troops that your partners are going to be uh, are going to offer you? Remember, each partner will boost different troops. Green partners boost a specific kind. Blue partners uh, boost the shaman. The red partners boost the uh, warriors. I think I don't even know right now. So you have to check check on your troops. Make sure that. Everything is going to match up. Your partners are going to match your troops, and that your dragon can, if they give any bonuses, uh, see what they give you as well. Now, the advanced players they go through a very similar checklist. They're going to go now. This maybe just comes second nature to them. They're going to go down and and uh, before they even mess with the talent page at all, they know which partners are going to, to to attack with. A lot of time, I've heard a lot of these really good players are going to use all one color. And they're going to use all one troop and then they're going to upgrade or set their talent page and have one troop maxed out on the talent page now once they get a little further along and they have more talent points then they can start maxing out the second uh, troop so my advice would be that as as you're starting out to just work on one troop at a time it may, may sound a little odd at first but believe it or not this is how this this is the best way for success from what I told and remember I don't do a lot of war attacks in all these servers that I'm in because I'm trying to uh, get replays from them and and show them on the channel you don't get that by attacking them <laughs> we're gonna go to server 384 I have a stronghold 16 account that I wiped all of the talent points off of and just based on what I've been told I'm gonna kind of build this the way that I've been told now I've been playing I think three years and I and for three years I have minimal attacks compared to many of you have had so many more attacks this may not be the way you do it um, I don't think you can necessarily go wrong with this method though so uh, at, at stronghold 16 I have an 80,000 troop March so what I'm gonna try to do is have 80,000 of the same troop that way when I attack I'm going to attack with all one troop and I went and checked on my dragonkin I think in this account I have both 
and I haven't quite got to where they give me the boost for the Warriors for, for uh, Ragehorn. I'm going to check out Tyrant. I'm, I'm not even sure. But you, anyway, you want to check your Dragonkin to see if they, if you get any any boost at all. And it, it looks like both of them, both of my Dragonkin, I'm one short to get a, to get the actual troop boost from it. But if you, but if you see here, um, the Tyrant gives you a Shaman boost on the troops at at the fourth level, and I think the Ragehorn gives you the Warrior boost. So. If you're going to build warriors, you're going to want to bring the Rage Horn. If you're going to bring Shaman, you're going to want to bring the Tyrant if you have them both. Then, the best that I could do as far as building um, for my runes, because this, this is something else that, you, that you're going to want to change and make sure you have lined up with your talent page is the runes. And I think the best that I could build was the, what was that, F Fated Cave Painting? Which gives me the warrior attack of 2.7, warrior defense of 3.6, warrior health. And then I think with that, it also came with some Beastmaster stuff. Even though I don't think I'm going to build any Beastmaster troops, but it still gave me Beastmaster attack and health. And then it also, I, I added the troop load and hospital capacity because I had some other things to add. Now, all my troops were actually out collecting, so I'm going to check on all the different troops and see what I actually have. The, uh, on this account, I have all T3s. Looks like I have 50,000 um, Shaman there. Looks like I have 12,000 and 15,000 Rhino Master. I, I constantly get attacked in this account, just so you know. So, not quite the same as Big Easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have 140 talent points that I'm going to distribute throughout the, this page and what I'm going to do is work my way down to the very bottom first. I'm going to try to get down to the very last line on the war talent page or combat. It's not even called war, it's called combat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one tree and uh, you know I'm not going to upgrade anything but the one tree and I'm, do I'm going with warriors and I'm going to take it all the way down to the very bottom. And what I'm doing is I'm putting the minimum on each one. And that's just for now. I'm just putting the minimum on each one until I get down to the bottom. Because the, the bottom is where you get your biggest boost. I believe they go, there's 40 on each side. And now that I'm at the bottom, I'm going to check out exactly what I have left. Because it takes me a little bit to get down there. And it looked like, let's see, I still have 48 left. Now I've seen several other good pages. While I've been doing this, I've been asking around. I've got some really good help from some people in, in, in uh, 323. I've had, uh, I found another YouTuber, um, Brutal Age TV. I'm going to put a link for him down in the description from server 5. So from an older server, great, great talent page. Never, I haven't gone to the channel yet. I've been too busy, but I'm sure some good stuff on his channel. So now I'm going to go back and start filling in the, the different things on Warrior. And what I'm going to do, because I'm going to do attacking, and I'm going to avoid any kind of defense. Um, something that you want to do is, for me, I'm going to avoid loading up defense on my talent page. Because if they attack me, I'm going to run like a little baby. I'm not going to actually fight them on defense. I'll either shield or I will hide the troops. Now I know we kind of flew by the, me loading up the talent page on, on that account. But I have some screenshots of someone from 323 Vortmos. He decided that he was allowed me to show some of his stuff. He shared this. And this is what he used, I believe, at the last Fire Frost event. And I've got some also some... Uh, screenshots of some of the attacks that that he did to show you the results of, of what this actually what this actually does for you now remember you need all the other things with it too you need the troops you need I mean, you need the troops I think he has t5s you need the partners you need the runes you need all these things to go with it but the talent page is definitely a big part of it so um, he was using shaman and beastmaster and so I'll just show you that I think I have three of his pages that he had 
shared with me. And if you notice that he, he doesn't load up a lot on the first part of this page here. He just went down with the minimum. And he went down, he got through down to training, didn't even, didn't max out training. And let's see here. I, I have no idea how fast this is going to go. I know I added a lot more time to this page so I could just explain a little bit better. The other pages will go a little faster. Yeah, so um, just went with Shaman and with Beastmaster because he has enough talent points to to throw him on two of them. I didn't, so I only had enough talent points to throw him on one, so I just stuck with the, the Warriors on mine. And that was because of the partners that I had, because of the runes I had. Now, if you notice here, there's not a lot going on to defense. He, he he had to put some on defense because he has to go through there to get to the ones he wants but he put the minimum on defense now there are some people that are going to play a different style and their style of play is going to be to aggravate uh, their opponent and get their opponent to attack them and then to get reinforced and those people would, would want to put a lot of talent points on defense whereas I'm going to attack and I'm not going to try to play defense I'll hide and run uh, when it comes to defense, so I don't have to put any talent points on defense at all Put them all on the troop attack troop health and then the specific troop that I'm using I'll, I'll max out as many of them as I possibly can Now if you if you look at some of the stuff that he has here he was attacking with 308,000 troops and defending was 1.3 million and granted with the 1.3 million there weren't all t5s that were defending but there were t5s in the mix with them as well um, but it's kind of amazing that when you have your talent page set right when you have the runes set right when you have your partners are winning and you have all the things that you're supposed to have set set correctly the results you get are just phenomenal now why did Bortmos do so well there's a few few things that that happened that made him do so well one he won all the partner battles two he had t5 versus an assortment of their troops and i'll tell you why in a second um three he got a huge morale boost and with the fire frost event it's a little different than normal plus he had his talents and his runes set perfectly now the first few attacks that he did he also had t1 troops so he attacked with t5s and t1s he attacked with a number of t1s as well and the, all of the losses he took in the first several battles were all the T1 troops So and this is another thing that I know that has nothing to do with the talent page But it definitely has something to do with the attacks when you're attacking if you're attacking whether it be with T3 T4 T5 Also include a much lower tier troop as a kind of a meat shield So for the beginners I would suggest building one page for your war page and your war page will have nothing on it except for the the battle um, stats you won't put any talent points on on the on the right side at all it's all going to go on battle for the advanced players they may want to build their talent page before each uh, war um, it, it's really just going to depend on the individual and the resources that you have dedicated towards the, the actual fight um, there is a little bit of a cost involved in changing your your talent pages and I believe I think last video I said it was just 200 gems but it's not just 200 gems it's 200 gems to switch your pages that already exist but to wipe your page clean and start again if you want to do a new one I believe that costs a thousand gems or uh, 200,000 clan coins so you definitely want in the clan coins of, I mean 200,000 sounds like a lot but you get those fairly easily so if you're gonna swap your talent page out and you're gonna rebuild your talent page from scratch uh, time and again for different wars you definitely want to save up those clan coins because the thousand gems is a pretty hefty cost although from what I understand everything's a hefty cost <laughs> once you get them to the t5s so we're going to kind of go over everything one more time. I know this is kind of a fast paced video uh, to keep it under 30 minutes. Uh, you have to kind of move fast with all this stuff. Uh, I'm just going to kind of hit all the all the points one more time. And um, if you want to go back and check it all out, just rewind. Turn my annoying voice off. We'll review everything. Pre-attack. You want to check on your partners. What partners are you going to lead with? 
and do you have dragon cannon that are going to help also you want to match your troops to your partners and your dragon can if possible so if your partners if you're if you're using a, a blue team then you want to have shaman and if you're going to use shaman you want to have the tyrant if you have them up to level four and that that way the morale boost will be all over the, sh the shaman troops that you have set your runes to match the troop type that you're using and if you if you don't have any runes that will match if you're if you're newer and you don't have runes that will match the exact troop the shaman attack well then try to at least add hospital capacity or the march speed or or something you can add a bunch of different things with the runes you have even if you just have a few and also as we just mentioned make sure you have the payment ready because you don't want to have to spend a thousand gems to, to rebuild your talent page make sure you have those 200,000 clan coins ready um, to set your talent page I would definitely suggest maxing out one troop first and use one troop use one color a partner um, try try to use that first and then as you get more talent points then you can then you can max out two troops uh, if that's that's the way to get the strongest attack possible if you spread it thinner if you just try to um, spread the talent points all over the, the battle page your attacks won't be quite as strong but as a beginner uh, that's probably the way you'll want to go because you're not going to want to spend the gems and you're not going to want to switch your page every single time at the beginning of it so we are at the end I'm hoping that this helps maybe one person for every 10 people it completely confuses <laughs> somewhere in that ratio hope you enjoyed it till next time it's been easy take care everybody